As you can see, we've got a full moon tonight. Okay, this is the prototype laser device spear on low. It is a focusable beam, so you can focus it in. And uh, see, it gets the same ring that the uh, D squared does. That's plenty bright. Does a good job illuminating into the woods to the right of the camera, right of the scene there. Okay, this is high. And it's almost too bright for 100, but you can focus it out. And you get a nice soft light. Can you bring that vampire light up again? Okay, you can see the vampire illuminating the 100 yard line now. And it throws just enough light for, you know, illuminating the uh, targets. The vampire off. And we'll try the spear again. Yeah. Which again goes to the purpose of these lights. Okay, and this is the uh, spear on high. So we'll go to the 200 yard targets and see what we can see. Start with the spear. And this is the spear on high. You can see I'm illuminating. I'm going to focus in a little bit here. That's a uh, that's a hundred yards, and that little bench in the back is two hundred. See, so it does a good job illuminating two hundred yards out there. Okay, this is the spear on low. That's 100 yards out, fully focused in. I'll just unfocus it. Again, this isn't optimal because of the moonlight, but sometimes you got to run with what you brung. Now, out to 200 fully, that's fully uh, focused out. So let's bring in the focus. And again, this is low. So even at 200 yards, you can see the little bench there, that little white, white reflective thing in the center of the, uh, the light. Go to high. There's high. It's the spear. Spear is uh, doing a good job illuminating it. We'll go to low again. You can see the difference between high and low. And uh, the spear at 200 yards you know, on high does a good job of illuminating and letting you identify that little bench. And there's the 100 yard barricade. It's almost too much when it's completely focused in.